Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the world of classic television and explore the lives of beloved actors from iconic shows. Today, we're taking a nostalgic trip down memory lane as we revisit the legendary cast of Porridge, the timeless British sitcom that first graced our screens in 1974. Get ready to reminisce and discover the enduring legacy of Porridge as we celebrate the incredible talents of its cast both then and now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all our nostalgic content. Without further ado, let's embark on this nostalgic journey and see who else has survived after 50 years since the debut of Porridge, Brian Wilde as Mr. Barrowclough. In 1973, he appeared as a different type of jailer in the second installment of Seven of One, a series featuring seven distinct tales, all starring Ronnie Barker. In this episode, titled Prisoner and Escort, Wilde portrayed Mr. Barrowclough, one of two prison guards tasked with escorting Barker's character Fletcher across the moors to his prison, the other being Mr. Mackay, played by Fulton Mackay. The episode garnered acclaim, leading to the BBC commissioning a series titled Porridge. Wilde is secured another role in 1976, stepping in for Michael Bates as the third member of a trio of elderly gentlemen in the BBC sitcom Last of the Summer Wine. His character, Walter Foggy Dewhurst, was a resolute ex-military man who orchestrated the group's escapades with military precision and meticulous attention to detail. He appeared in The Fear Merchants, an episode of ABC's The Avengers, in January 1967, portraying Jeremy Raven, a pottery manufacturer entangled in a sinister scheme to eliminate the competition. In 1978, Wilde lent his voice to the public information film series Play Safe, raising awareness about the hazards of overhead power lines for children. Wilde sustained a fall in January 2008 from which he never fully recovered. He passed away peacefully in his sleep at the age of 80 on the morning of 20 March 2008 at his residence in Ware, Hertfordshire. His son, Andrew Wilde, served as a film editor on Last of the Summer Wine from the mid-1990s until the show's conclusion in 2010, initially working on many episodes featuring his father and later on those starring Frank Thornton. Ronnie Barker as Norman Stanley Fletcher. Prisoner and Escort evolved into Porridge, airing from 1974 to 1977, featuring Barker in the role of the cynical and astute prisoner, Norman Stanley Fletcher. Porridge marked the first sitcom set within a prison. The Times described the series as exploring the dynamics of survival in prison, showcasing the small victories over the system that helped inmates maintain their sanity. Barker encountered Joy Tubb in Cambridge, where she served as a stage manager for the two plays in which he starred. They wed nine months later in July 1957 and had three children, two sons, Larry, born 1959, and Adam, born 1968, and a daughter, Charlotte, born 1962, who pursued a career in acting. Larry, a prominent advertising creative director, was named after Barker's role model, Lawrence Olivier. Adam Barker pursued acting but faced a 12-month prison sentence in 2012 for 20 counts of producing indecent images of children having eluded authorities for eight years. He was absent from his father's funeral. Barker opted against undergoing heart valve replacement surgery, and his health deteriorated rapidly following the recording of the Turonies Christme sketchbook. He passed away from heart failure at Catherine House Hospice in Atterbury, Oxfordshire, on 3. October 2005, at the age of 76, with his wife at his side, news of his demise took precedence on television news broadcasts. Sam Kelly as Warren. Sam Kelly portrayed a significant character in the British sitcom Porridge, embodying the amiable and lively Slade prison inmate Bunny Warren, who relies on his fellow prisoners to read his letters from home and attributes his scattered demeanor to his inability to read. His theatrical engagements led him to various locations in the Midlands, Northern England, and St. Andrews, Scotland. 
His roles encompass diverse characters such as Pompey in Measure for Measure, Truscott in Loot, Touchstone in As You Like It, and Dan Leno in The Funniest Man in the World, Stratford Eastern 1977. He graced the stage at the Sheffield Crucible in productions like Charlie's Aunt and Absurd Person Singular, as well as Victoria Wood's Good Fun, 1980. Additionally, he spent two years performing in the stage adaptation of The Two Ronnies at the London Palladium and on tour. In his later career, Kelly took on roles such as the ARP Warden in Nanny McPhee and The Big Bang, 2010, and portrayed the old boatman, John Myrtle, in the ITV adaptation of Dead Man's Folly during the final 2013 series of Agatha Christie's Poirot, which marked the concluding episode of the series to be filmed. On July 23, 2010, Kelly made a guest appearance as Martin in the sitcom My Family in the episode Desperately Stalking Susan. From October 2010 to February 2011, he headlined in When We Are Married at London's Garrick Theatre. Kelly maintained a long-term relationship with journalist and psychotherapist Grace Pieniazek until her passing in 2009. He resumed his role as the wizard in Wicked on November 18, 2013. However, news emerged in January 2014 that Kelly had temporarily withdrawn from the production due to health issues, with Martin Ellis set to take over from February 17, 2014. He was admitted to a hospice on June 13, 2014, and passed away early the following morning at the age of 70 after a prolonged battle with cancer. Michael Barrington as Governor Venables. His most notable portrayal is as the ineffective Governor Venables in the BBC sitcom Porridge, starring Ronnie Barker in the lead role. Hailing from Twickenham, he faced adversity early in life, losing both parents by the age of 16. His aspirations to train as a veterinarian were halted by his service in a munitions factory and the Royal Engineers during the Second World War. Post-war, he redirected his ambitions towards acting and received training at the Birmingham School of Drama. He then graced repertory theaters and performed at the Vaudeville Theater in Salad Days. Apart from Porridge, Barrington also made appearances in various television shows such as Z Cars, The Avengers, Private Schultz, Adam Adamant Lives, and portrayed Sir Colin Thackeray in the Doctor Who episode The Seeds of Doom. Notably, he was cast as Sir Robert Peel in the 1975 English miniseries Edward VII. He was wedded to actress Barbara New until his demise from a heart attack on June 5, 1988, at the age of 63 in London following years of declining health attributed to lung disease. He found his final resting place in the East London Cemetery and Crematorium. David Jason as Blanco Webb David Jason appeared in Barker's Porridge, BBC, a sitcom set in a prison, portraying the elderly Blanco in three episodes. Jason commenced his television journey in 1964, taking on the role of Burt Bradshaw in Crossroads. In 1967, he assumed the character of spoof superhero Captain Fantastic, among other roles, in the children's comedy series Do Not Adjust Your Set, Rediffusion London, ITV. Alongside Eric Idle, Terry Jones, Denise Coffey, and Michael Palin. Jason resided with his longtime partner, Welsh actress My Fanwy Talog, for 18 years, supporting her through breast cancer until her passing in 1995. On February 26, 2001, Jason welcomed fatherhood at the age of 61, when his partner, 41 year old Gil Hinchcliffe, gave birth to a girl at Stoke Mandeville Hospital, Aylesbury. Jason and Hinchcliffe tied the knot in 2005 and currently reside in Ellsboro, Buckinghamshire. In 2022, Jason learned of another daughter, born in 1970 from a previous relationship with actress Jennifer Hill. In October 2013, he published his autobiography titled David Jason, My Life, which was shortlisted for the 2013 Specsavers National Book Awards Best Book of the Year.
a second volume, Only Fools and Stories, from Del Boy to Granville, Pop Larkin to Frost, hit shelves in October 2017. Penguin Books announced A Dell of a Life, Jason's third autobiography, which was released in October 2020. In September 2017, reports emerged of a credible threat made to his life, although the motive behind targeting Jason remains undisclosed. Richard Beckinsale as Lenny Godber Comedy darling and television icon Richard Beckinsale brought joy to audiences as Lenny Godber, the cellmate of Norman Stanley Fletcher, in Porridge. Following stints as an upholsterer at a local bus company during his youth and as a pipe inspector at an iron works, he earned a scholarship to enroll at RADA, where Richard subsequently graced numerous theater productions. He made his television debut as a police officer in Coronation Street in 1969, prior to achieving breakthrough success in the sitcom The Lovers alongside Paula Wilcox. Among his most renowned roles was that of student Dr. Allen in Rising Damp, where he formed a close friendship with the late Leonard Rossiter. Their Rising Damp colleague Don Warrington shared with Daily Express, Len truly admired Richard. He found him exceptional. Whatever mood Len was in, Richard would enter and his demeanor would transform. However, during the filming of Stephen Freer's film Bloody Kids, Richard began experiencing blackouts, dizziness, and in his final communication, informed friends of experiencing discomfort in his arms and chest. The subsequent day, his loved ones were left shattered after the actor passed away peacefully in his sleep from a heart attack on March 19, 1979, at the tender age of 31. A post-mortem examination later disclosed he had a congenital heart anomaly. Tony Osoba as McLaren. Tony Osoba is most recognized for his portrayal of Jim Jock McLaren in the 1970s British comedy series Porridge alongside Ronnie Barker. Hailing from Maryhill, Glasgow, Scotland, he initially harbored ambitions of designing cars. However, upon realizing the limited job prospects in that field, he shifted his focus to pursuing a career in acting following his hires, undergoing training at the Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama. Subsequently, he joined a theatrical troupe in Richmond, embarked on international tours, and became affiliated with the Royal Shakespeare Company. His diverse television credits encompass roles such as Debt, Sergeant Charles Chaz Jarvis in Dempsey, and Makepeace, 1984-1986, and assuming the characters Wesley McGregor and Peter Ingram in Coronation Street, 1982 and 1990. Additionally, he has graced the screen in productions like Space, 1999, 1976, The Professionals, 1978, Charles Endel-esque, 1979, Minder, 1980, The Flame Trees of Tika, 1981, and Tales of the Unexpected, 1982. In 2005, Osoba showcased his talent as the Kralahome in a touring UK rendition of The King and I. His later ventures include portraying Superintendent Smith in the 2007 film Tanner, assuming the role of Charlie Dokes in The Bill, and making a brief appearance in an episode of The Shadow Line in 2011. Furthermore, Osoba has contributed to the radio landscape, featuring in the series Space Force, 1984-1985, as Loderick Sincere, Peter Vaughn as Harry Grout. He is widely recognized for his portrayal of Grouty in the television series Porridge. Vaughn marked his cinematic debut in 1959 with an uncredited role as a law enforcement officer in The 39 Steps. Over the ensuing years, he continued to secure minor roles, including appearances as policeman in Village of the Damned and the Victors, before landing his first leading role in the modestly budgeted film Smokescreen, 1964 where he portrayed an insurance assessor investigating the disappearance of a businessman, showcasing one of the final and finest examples of traditional British B-movies. In 1967, he garnered second billing alongside Frank Sinatra in The Naked Runner. Despite his performance receiving criticism from a particular reviewer who accused him of excessive theatricality in his portrayal of a British agent, Vaughn persisted in his career. 
He notably portrayed Mr. Freeman in Carol Rice's 1980 film, The French Lieutenant's Woman, sharing the screen with Meryl Streep and Jeremy Irons. Vaughn entered matrimony twice in his lifetime. His first marriage was to Billy Whitelaw, which commenced in 1952 and ended in divorce in 1966. He later tied the knot with actress Lelius Walker, with whom he resided in the village of Manning's Heath, situated in West Sussex, until his passing. Prior to that, they had lived in Crawley. His stepdaughter, Victoria Burton, who is an actress and producer, is married to Gregor Fisher. Vaughn experienced partial vision impairment in his later years. On December 6, 2016, he passed away peacefully from natural causes at the age of 93. Ronald Lacey as Harris. Ronald Lacey portrayed the character Harris in the series. Lacey commenced his journey in the acting realm back in 1959 through a television play titled The Secret Agent. His breakthrough came with a notable performance at the Royal Court Theater in the 1962 production Chips with Everything. Lacey possessed a distinctive appearance characterized by beady eyes, an upturned nose, liver lips, an overbite, receding chin, and absent eyebrows. He had the ability to emit piercing screams at a remarkably high frequency. Throughout his career, Lacey often portrayed antagonistic characters and was recognized for his trademark smile, which could swiftly transform into a menacing grin. Additionally, he sported a prominent mole on his left cheek, which he opted not to remove, alongside a uniquely resonant voice. In the 1983 film Trenchcoat, he incorporated the mole into his portrayal of Princess Aida, a mysterious and unsavory drag queen residing on the island of Malta. Another notable drag role of his was in the 1985 film Invitation to the Wedding, where he portrayed one half of a husband and wife couple. Lacey entered into matrimony twice. His first marriage was to actress Mella White in 1962. She wed him using the surname Brompton, being her second marriage. The union produced two children, both of whom pursued acting careers, Rebecca Lacey and Jonathan Lacey. After their separation, he married Joanna Baker in 1972, with whom he fathered a son. Tragically, Lacey received a terminal diagnosis of liver cancer on April 25, 1991. He passed away less than a month later, on May 15, 1991, at the age of 55, Christopher Biggins as Lukewarm. Christopher Biggins portrayed the recurring character Lukewarm in the comedy series Porridge, 1974-1977, alongside Ronnie Barker. In 2008, he briefly co-hosted a Sunday morning radio program on BBC London alongside Leslie Joseph. During 2014 and 2015, Biggins filled in for Liza Tarbuck on BBC Radio 2 while she was on leave. In May 2017, he returned to BBC Radio 2 to substitute for Paul O'Grady on his Sunday early evening show. Biggins was wedded to Australian actress Beatrice Norbury from 1971 to 1974. Presently, he openly identifies as gay and entered into a civil partnership with his companion, Neil Sinclair, on 30 December 2006 at Hackney Register Office. Politically, Biggins has voiced his admiration for former conservative Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. He disclosed in his memoir that he shed tears on the day she resigned, remarking, I'm not particularly inclined towards politics. However, I advocate for self-reliance and tackling tasks head-on. Margaret seemed to embody all of that. Moreover, she possessed a charismatic aura, which naturally appealed to me. In 2014, he remarked, I held a deep fondness for John Major. He exuded charm and charisma. I've consistently aligned with the Conservative Party, though I would have supported John Smith. I am optimistic about the emergence of a new Conservative leader ascending to prominence now. It's time for a fresh face. Fulton McKay as Mr. McKay. He is most fondly recalled for his portrayal of the stern prison warder Mr. McKay in the British sitcom Porridge alongside the comedian and comedic actor Ronnie Barker.
a role he held from 1973 to 1977. Prior to gaining prominence in Porridge, McKay made numerous appearances in The Avengers, notably featuring in the episode Return of the Cybernauts, where he portrayed Professor Chadwick. He also portrayed D.I. Inman in Special Branch, 1969-71. His repertoire included appearances in Coronation Street and Z Cars. He took on the role of RAF psychiatrist Fowler in an episode of Some Mothers Do Avum and portrayed a doctor in Doctor at Large in 1971. Mackay was wedded to Irish actress Sheila Manahan. He contributed significantly to the Glasgow Children's Charity Child and Family Trust. In 1984, he was honored with the OBE and took great pleasure in oil painting. McKay passed away on June 6, 1987 at the age of 64, succumbing to stomach cancer. He was laid to rest at East Sheen Cemetery in southwest London. His spouse, Sheila, passed away in 1988 and was interred alongside her husband. Despite the passage of time, their characters and performances continue to resonate with audiences around the world. As we bid farewell to this journey through time, let's celebrate the enduring spirit of porridge and the lasting impact it has had on all of us.